Hello, hello everyone, it's me again, Monique. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys a collective haul of all the pieces that I just got for the month of January. But this is not just going to be your usual try-on video. I'm going to give some fashion 101 advice, especially for my chubby girls out there like me. These are trends and tips that you can definitely add up to your style to hide our <laughs> bilbil, if you know what I mean, and to look less lumba lumba. We'll just drop those classic jeans and shirt for a while and we'll dress up like a fashion blogger kind of thing. So, let's start. For dresses, I do prefer wearing something loose and less tight-fitting. It's because it's comfy that makes me more confident on the way I carry the dress and my body. One example I have here is this beautiful fairy mesh dress that is actually an off-the-shoulder dress. To my big girls, off-the-shoulders really work. Kung gusto yung badaya yung arms nyo. If you feel a bit insecure about it, like me, and actually it complements my physique for some reasons, that's why I was really into this dress. Put on some heels or some chunky sneakers or booties if you want to make it less formal. And I really love how it can save my bilbil whenever I sit down. And honestly, this is a lifesaver if you're in a buffet. You got me, I know. And have I mentioned that I only got this from an UK store? Yep, gems can be found talaga from Ukay Ukay and guess what? You'll be saving more pa from it. Some doesn't really like loose dresses because it's too plain and boring, but sometimes you just gotta find something that has a wow factor in this piece itself, like this dress. Another type of dress that you can wear aside from loose dresses is an A-line dress. These dresses are quite tight-fitting on the upper part, nearly hugging the waist and having a flowy or a wide proportion at the bottom part. A-line dresses are probably very common. You can actually find it anywhere, but what I've been obsessed about recently are khaki colored pieces and mid-length dresses, which inspired me to have this dress over here. So it's an A-line khaki sleeveless and backless dress. I know, you just gotta find something different from simple things. I love how it hugs the waist and sort of lessens some body over there. And the visual of the A-shape of the dress helped me to have a curve and dimension that emphasizes my physique in a good way. I love that this dress is a mid-length one and it reminds me of a picnic dainty dress. I only got this from a branded over and store and i bet it is such a steal for me here's another one of those dainty dresses that is actually a combination of a loose plus an a-line dress i don't know if it is just me or i should have just picked a smaller size but i do really love this galing to sa divisoria pero hindi tipid yung tela niya and i sure it is really really nice in person plus it's pretty cheap as well for its quality it's comfy and it is still complementing the body it's white yet it doesn't make me look bigger because of the shape of the dress having this V neckline also adds dimension to the body, making my chest area slimmer and flattering. What I like about this dress is its buttons that goes all the way down the dress itself, so you can unbutton them and show a little bit of skin, which is also a good tip for chubby girls because you know some skin won't hurt, you wouldn't like your hiding too much, thus it'll make you feel confident, comfortable, and cute at the same time another gem from an ukai store and you might think that these are separate clothings no this one is actually a dress and you can probably tell that i was really in the mood to hoard anything beige brown or khaki colored this one is somewhat an a-line dress but i can say na kaya niya parindayain ang ating mga bilbil because of the high waist skirt na naka-attach sa top niya let me tell you, anything high waist helps you guys because it hugs the waist and has a very wide proportion for the things about that gives you a curve just like your e-line dress. I got this one because I've been into romantic and dating tops recently and I just thought I got something less extra and more casual and perfect as a last minute outfit. Simple but still very unique somehow. That's why I really like this plain beige shirt with mid-length ruffled bottoms and you can adjust the bow at the side but i'm gonna hug your waist more even more on to the next one i really love the color palette of this one it's the bomb i told you i was obsessed brown hues are really into the fashion industry to be honest anyway i have this rusty brown long sleeves that's almost covering my hands which i thought were kind of cute and this top is tight fitting but they're honestly comfortable for some reasons i thought the color really complements my skin tone because it's like 
if you're not a fan of loose clothing or too revealing top that's fine just play around with your long sleeves you can pair it with your trousers your wide leg pants your high waist shorts it depends on you but i bet long sleeves for chubby girls look cute too and the good thing about it is that it's high waisted and the ruffles at the waist is too cute not to notice now the diayong curve because of it and i told you high waist really does magic plus i can unbutton the skirt to make it more flattering and show more skin since i'm wearing a long sleeve top i got these two pieces both from a new guy store next thing that i'm going to share is probably one of my most favorite from this haul because it became like my most worn style last 2019 and yep you guessed it trousers and puff sleeved top I bought quite a lot of these type of tops last year from Shopee because it helps me deal with my insecurity for my big arms because they are massive. Let me tell you, people would definitely have an eye on your arms not because they're big but your puff sleeves are way too cute not to notice. I got this top from Divisoria and what I love about it is that it can be worn in two different ways. It can be an off the shoulder or your classic puff sleeve top. Partnering this romantic dainty top with a super comfortable high waist burnt orange trousers is just wow. I got this from Sunday Sky and to be honest, it's a bit pricey for me, but I guess it was really worth it. This hugs my waist very nicely. It gives me a good curve and they're the most comfortable pants because they're baggy. And I've been looking for these type of pants because I was really inspired by Ida and Duyan styling with super baggy and big pants and partnering with chunky shoes. And here I'm also wearing some chunky slides that I got from Payless. I really love this one. I love the color. And it is something that I could also suggest to you because chunky shoes can give dimensions mention on the body to give more curves. To lay this outfit down a bit, I changed my top with a simple and comfortable white crop top that I got from Shopee. The sleeves are a bit puffy as well and I've been wearing this a few times now and it's like a go-to add something a little bit different kind of top and I love how it fit me well. I don't even look too big even though it's cropped. The best way to secure and protect every build -out. A girl has is to wear overalls like jumpsuits or romper you guys this is my basic necessity if i'm in a mood to cover up my baby fats and you know what kampante ako lumarga sa kahit ano food trip with my jumpsuit i got this from a branded overrun store and i have never owned any romper that is this long and a bit loose and you know i like how it is being different and also conservative kasi hindi siya sobrang ikli it's a bit edgy at the same time. And to contrast this loose and lean piece, I wore, of course, a favorite, another puff sleeve top, plus another favorite in red gingham print. I thought it would be cute to wear a flattering printed top on this to give more oomph, you know. <laughs> I don't even know what that word is, but yeah, I never thought it would turn out this good and I like it. So I have this interest with Ida and Duyan's style of wearing sports bras as a casual outfit, like instead of wearing a shirt, wear a sports bra with jeans, I thought it's a cute mix and match, but you know, I'm not too confident for it. But if you guys are in a mood and you're feeling yourself, but insecurities pulls you back, you could just add some spice while playing it nice, just like how I did mine in this outfit. I'm partnering this sports bra with some high waist denim shorts that has a length similar to biker shorts which I thought were super comfy and conservative, very stretchy and perfect for every day. Then I layer up with this cropped grey jacket. So I bought the shorts and jacket from a branded overrun store. So that's everything for this collective haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it and leave a like if you did. Comment down your most favorite piece and raise your hands up if you guys are proud chubs like me. Follow my social media accounts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be part of the unique fam. Oh, and join my giveaway. Link is down below. Have a great one and I'll see you guys very, very soon.